Hello good day viewers. Let us find a solution to this nice OS problem question. I so much love the question because it is a real life application of quadratic equation. And the question reads, Tambol kicked a soccer ball in the air across the field. The ball reaches a maximum height of 64 feet 2 seconds after it was kicked. The ball hits the ground 4 seconds after it was kicked. At what time or times is the ball 48 feet in the air? Alright, let us form a sketch here. Suppose this is the ground level. And let us assume I was standing here trying to kick the ball. You know, if I kick the ball, it will go in this direction. Something like this. It will hit the ground again. But according to the question, the ball reaches a maximum height, which is this peak. That is the maximum it can attain before it drops down. After what? Two seconds. You know, this is the time. Two seconds. So this is the maximum height. That is 64 feet. And the ball hits the ground four seconds after it was kicked. So this is four seconds. So the question that follows was, at what times is the ball 48 feet in the air? That's what we need to find. But if you look at this diagram, it is clearly a quadratic function, right? And this is a vertex of that quadratic equation. And we can form the quadratic equation in a vertex form. This is the origin, zero seconds. So let's form it. You know the general form if you have a quadratic function as ax squared plus bx plus c the vertex form will be y equal to a x minus h all squared then plus k where h and k here is a point which is the vertex that is the maximum it can attain right that is this point so at that point the height is 64 feet and the time is 2 seconds. Let us substitute it there. But we are going to write the function in terms of height and time, right? So h instead of y, which is the height, is now equal to a in the parenthesis. We have t instead of x minus h, which is what? 2 seconds. We write 2 here. We square all. Then we add the maximum height, which is 64. So all we need to find is the value of a and we can pick any point. Let us pick the origin where both time and the height are equal to zero. So at zero, zero, we have h to be zero equal to a. Time is also zero squared then plus 64. We have zero minus two, which is negative two. If you square that, you get four. So this is 0 equal to 4a plus 64. Take 64 to the other side, it becomes negative. We have 4a equal to negative 64. You divide both sides by 4. a will now be equal to negative 64 divided by 4. And negative 64 divided by 4 is negative 16. Therefore, a is equal to negative 16. So now let us plug in A into this vertex form of our parabola. So H, which is a function of time, is equal to A, which is negative 16, multiplied by T minus 2 all squared, then plus 64. So this is the relationship between the height and the time. And if you expand this, you are going to obtain that quadratic equation which we have used to form this uh, graph. Uh, let us do it as a bonus. H is now equal to negative 16. If you expand this first term squared, which is t squared, minus 2 times the first term times the second term will give us 40 negative. Then negative 2 squared will give us 4. Then plus 64. Let us expand the parenthesis. Negative 16 times t squared will give us negative 16t squared. Negative, negative, positive. 16 times 4 is 64t. Negative, positive is negative. 16 times 4 is 64. Then we have our 64. This will give us 0, right? So 
So therefore our function h is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 64 t. This is the quadratic equation used to construct that graph. But this is not what we are looking for. We are looking for the time O times at which the ball reaches what? 48 feet. So when H, when H is equal to 48 is exactly what we are looking for. And I'm going to use the vertex form, which is very simple. Let me use this. So this is the vertex form of our quadratic equation where H is now 48 equal to negative 16 multiplied by t minus 2 all squared plus 64. Let us take this time to the left hand side and take this one to the right hand side. We're just going to switch them. As this time crosses the equality sign it becomes positive. 16 t minus 2 all squared. If this one crosses over it becomes negative so we have 64 minus 48. And 64 minus 48 is 16. So we have 16 t minus 2 all squared equal to 16. Divide both sides by 16. You have t minus 2 all squared equal to 1. Take the square root of both sides. You have t minus 2 equal to plus or minus the square root of 1, which is the same thing as 1. Take negative 2 to the right hand side. t will now be equal to positive 2 plus or minus 1 because square root of 1 is 1. So finally the time that we are looking for is equal to either 2 plus 1 or 2 minus 1. So time could either be 3 seconds or 1 second, right? So at either 3 seconds or 1 second the ball is going to reach 48 feet. So let's assume this is 1 and this is 3. If you go off like this, like this, you're going to reach 48 feet. And this is the solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.